The Panj River snakes its way through the western Pamir Mountains, creating the border between Tajikistan and Afghanistan. The Tajik town of Ishkoshim is known for its colorful transboundary market, where Afghans and Tajiks exchange goods and money thanks to a bridge that links the two countries. But commerce is not the main source of income for the inhabitants of Ishkoshim. Most of them are farmers. Although the landscape is semi-arid due to the high altitude and scarce rain, water is abundant. It flows down from the ice-capped mountains through ravines and waterfalls that end up forming the mighty Panj River. While water is present, the challenge for the people that live here is how to bring it to the places where it is needed. In order to cultivate their fields, people rely on canals that have been constructed over time. Thanks to this basic infrastructure, Ishkoshim has long been an oasis of green fields and orchards in the midst of the arid mountains that surround it. But recently, access to water has become a serious problem for farmers like Anvar Alidorov. <laughs> This canal was built several decades ago when Tajikistan was part of the Soviet Union. زمانی خیلی دور نه در زمان شوروی همین سربند مستقیم کرده بودند و تا سالها از زیاد اومدنی آب و شکست چی فرسوده شد سمنت و مردم یه رو احساس شمردن که اگر ما رو مستقیم نکنیم در آینده زمینوی ما از دست می روند With the canal broken Amvar and the other farmers could no longer irrigate their lands but they lacked the resources and coordination to fix it. A team of Tajik and international experts and officials has been visiting Ishkoshim over several years as part of the High Pamir and Pamir Ally Sustainable Land Management Project, known as PALM. The Palm Project is a research and capacity building initiative. It brings together international agencies and Tajik partners united by the goal of supporting these remote mountain societies so they can stand on their own feet. The project team studies the way people in the Pamir Mountains use and manage their lands. Most of the um, irrigation infrastructure in the region, currently it is not uh, very efficient. Uh, uh, there's very little water is actually reaching the, the croplands where it's needed. The decaying infrastructure, as well as erosion from water and wind, is seriously damaging the croplands of Ishkoshim, endangering the livelihoods of the farmers. The villagers discussed these issues with the researchers and decided to take action. Through supporting community initiatives and testing ways to improve the productivity of the land, the Palm Project aims to find solutions to the related problems of land degradation and poverty in the region. In the Pamirs, access to water has been a key issue. A lot of the micro projects uh, identified by the communities uh, have focused on improving uh, irrigation infrastructure. Anvar teamed up with his neighbors to fix the canal and to identify ways of using irrigation water more effectively with the support of the Palm Project. But while Anvar and his neighbors are having problems irrigating their land, other villagers do not have enough arable land to start with and are forced to overuse existing croplands or migrate to Russia in search of seasonal work. Land in these areas is uh, very limited. That's uh, one of the key issues is actually making efficient use of all the land resources that are available there. 
Population growth and the need to survive have forced people to cultivate land on the mountain slopes, often without due care of the soil. As a result, a significant amount of topsoil, more than 15 centimeters, has been lost over the past 50 years. Setting up terraces is one way of dealing with these problems, although it requires very hard work. Despite these difficulties, Nazarbek of Jumabek and a handful of other farmers are determined to try, with training and material support from the Palm Project. یعنی بهتر نمودن استفاده برای زمین و پیشگیری کردن اروزیای آبی و اروزیای بودی میشد. The people of the Pamir Mountains have traditionally built terraces to reclaim new land on slopes. This practice helps to reduce erosion, and reviving it can improve people's livelihoods while preserving the land they depend on. اما جوی چرا طبیعت باید چی کنیم؟ موافق قویده ایکالاگی. With the necessary technical and financial backing, Ambar and his community were able to fix the canal. با دستگیری برنامه پالما ما توانستیم که یاد از 2600 متر کانال رو از نو سوز کنیم، جای خطرناک که کانال رو برطرف کنیم، سربند مستقم کنیم. The communities contributed their labor to the effort, and now water is finally running properly through the canal. Ambar can irrigate his fields, and the water infrastructure of the community is less susceptible to destruction from floods. Farmers are also trying out new crops, irrigation techniques, and land use approaches to help them improve the productivity of their land. They have also established a village fund to pay for the future maintenance of the canal. زندگی امین مردم سخت مربوط است با او از آن خاطر که مردم غذای خود را از زمین در امین دهه ما از زمین میگیرند Amva, Nazavekov and their neighbors are not the only ones benefiting from a newly functioning canal and the new agricultural land created by terraces The experience of the farmers of Ishkoshim in implementing these projects could benefit other communities in the Pamir Mountains by offering valuable insights into the ways that these initiatives can improve the livelihoods of people, while at the same time protecting the environment. <laughs>